all of the dark haired kids, the, the brown and black haired kids were treated as the privileged ones. school segregated by the color of their hair. The kids in one group were told that they're not as smart as the others. It was supposed to be a lesson on racism, but as News 4 troubleshooter Jay Avila reports, some parents are furious that neither they nor their kids were told about it ahead of time. The parents we spoke to say they want their children to learn about racism and civil rights, but feel the Northside School District went too far with the segregation experiment and by making students watch a documentary that wasn't age appropriate. And some for you. Mike and Brandy Leininger say their 10-year-old daughter was confused and hurt by a classroom experiment in January at Leon Springs Elementary. Students were separated according to hair color, with one group receiving preferential treatment. All of the dark-haired kids, the, the brown and black-haired kids, were treated as the privileged ones, and the blonde-haired and the red-haired kids were the ones treated not so nicely. The Leiningers say teachers told students children in the fair-haired group were not as intelligent. That group was purposely given a game with pieces missing so they couldn't play, and they were made to clean up after the other children. She was hurt. She, her friends, and she named to the principal and to the district officials names of her friends that were crying. Fifth graders were also shown a Spike Lee documentary called Four Little Girls about the 1963 bombing of an Alabama church. The film includes graphic autopsy photos of the girls' bodies. The teacher says she fast forwarded past those parts. But the Leiningers say the children in their daughter's class did see the photos. The things that she said that she skipped over, my daughter was able to describe to us to a T. So that night, our daughter was unable to go to sleep in her own room. She was scared. Northside ISD declined our request for an interview, but said in a statement, the activity and video in question were part of a larger fifth grade project-based lesson around the inequity of segregation. While the campus did receive positive feedback from several parents, district and campus administration recognized the parents' concerns and agree that the activity and video are not age appropriate and will not be used again. The Leiningers say the main issue for them is transparency. They send us notes and newsletters about everything else. Our child is gonna, your child is gonna see the Polar Express and it's pajama day on Friday before winter break and we get no notice that they're gonna do a social experiment on segregation. News 4 spoke to another Leon Springs parent who confirmed the Leininger's story, but did not want to be identified. The couple says they contacted us because Northside officials have refused to notify parents about the experiment, and some may still be unaware that it took place. In my opinion, this seems like a social experiment gone wrong, I don't see anything wrong with teaching difficult subjects through social experiments, but I do believe that parents should be notified beforehand and be able to opt out of such experiments. With all the turmoil we live in today, and so many views about race, separating kids out this way probably wasn't the best way to conduct this experiment. Graphic material should never be shown in the classroom as it does affect people. That movie should have never been shown at all and especially without the parents' consent. The fact that the school refuses to notify the parents seems like they are trying to hide this. I wonder if this was a history class or just some wider initiative to promote wokeness. Those are my thoughts. What are yours? Leave them in the comments below. Please share this video for education and awareness. For the Dumb Dumb News Channel, I'm Dumb Dumb.